What's up, Jaywalkers? We are back with another reaction. We're going to be watching Season 2, Episode 12 of Glee. Last episode was a good one. Uh, the girls joined the football team. The football team had a freaking amazing performance at halftime of Thriller. And the other song they mashed up in there. forgot what the song is called. But I think it went perfectly with, with Thriller. And it was a damn good performance. Uh, Krowski, I thought after that, he was going to be kind of a changed person. Uh, and maybe be better, maybe apologize to Kurt. I was freaking naive to think any of those things. But yeah, he's still a huge pain in the ass. And we also had Finn kiss freaking Quinn at the at the end, at the very end of the last one. So that's pretty huge. We got the whole Quinn, Sam thing going on. Um, and Finn, Rachel. So we got a lot, a lot happening there. Uh, and we'll see what happens in this episode. The full reaction will be over on my Patreon page. The link to that will be in the description box of every video on YouTube. If you want to check out the full uncut unedited reactions, feel free to hit that link and do so. That being said, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. We all know I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but there are two lessons I learned the hard way. We don't one, know that. never punch a cop. The other one, you can't choose love. Love chooses you. I mean, I could have any girl I wanted. It's very true. A whole lot of women. I owe it all to sectionals. We like needed the 12 other ones you haven't had. had. If she joined the Glee Club, I'd give her seven minutes in heaven. But what went down in that And she really took him to heaven. It's Valentine's Day and it's official. Stare at me again and I'll break your nuts. Also, the freaking perfect girl for Puck if you ask me. If you see me there. Thanks, Becky. Oh. Be my Valentine. Finn, you gotta say yes. I'll keep you posted. Copy that. Okay, I'm all for flair, but these Valentine's Day decorations are just tacky. I mean, what the hell is this? That is, to be? That is adorable. That's clearly puppy love. That it's is cute. adorable. Valentine's Day for centuries, and call me a hopeless romantic, but it's my favorite holiday. Really? I think there's something really great about a day where you're. How can you not love this man? Just lay it all on the line, and say to somebody, "I'm in love with you." You know? It's freaking beautiful. This year I want to see her. So I have to ask, do you think it's too much to sing to somebody on Valentine's Day? Not at all. With a voice like yours, I think there's no gift that even comes close uh, to being better than that. You know my coffee order? Of course I do. That'll be eight for This motherfucker Don't bother, dummy. It's on is me. so romantic. I want you guys to pick a partner because you're going to sing to them what you think is the world's greatest love song. Yeah, find a song that World's communicates all the song. things that That's love means to you. too tough. Now, partner up. Mr. Shu, can I say something? I just wanted to point out that for the first time, an entire week has gone by without any one of us getting slushy. I, I think That's the fact that I love it. very impressive, actually. It's the closest thing that this Glee Club has to a celebrity right now. And just like a famous athlete, I want to give to a chair. So. You guys. So I'm setting up a kissing booth. Fist fin. And can I just say, not worth a buck. <laughs> I would, however, pay a hundred dollars to jiggle one of his man boobs. Darius. Actually, you're just a bitch. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. You insult us. Three weeks ago, you said you were disappointed that I didn't have a lizard baby. Five minutes ago, you said Mr. Shoe belonged in a cult. Step Maybe I am destined to play the title role in the Broadway musical version of Willow, but the only job you're going to have is working on a pole. <laughs> That's too far. I'm really, really honest with people when I think that they suck. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct, because I spell woman Z I C E S, and I need to be wooed. You understand me? Wooed. Damn. Pug. Hey. She's out of your league. Simply put, I'm in love. Congrats. Oh shit. I'm not really good at talking about my feelings. I'm much better at singing them. But still, I, I could use a little help. Oh, which is why I'm asking to enlist the Warblers to help serenade this individual uh, in song. Good. St. Louis overshot the tarmac and plowed through seven Warblers during an impromptu rendition of Welcome to Ohio, Lucky Lindy. Why would well, we damn. consider 
What you're asking. I, I firmly believe better get over that it. our reticence to perform in public nearly cost us a trip to regionals. We're becoming privileged porcelain birds. I don't have a sir. Sir. You mock us, sir. <laughs> Bad. David, I will. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Where would this performance take place? The Gap at the North Hills Mall. I'd like to call it the Warbler's Gap Attack. <laughs> Why the Gap? Uh, the guy that I like is a junior manager. All those in favor? Heartbroken. Heart I'm shattered. Absolutely devastated. Did he, ever, did he put the moves on? No, but we were always singing duets and. And he's so he's damn romantic. Me. All the time. He's gonna be forced to kiss me 100 times, and when his lips touch mine, I'm telling you, he's hey, gonna hey, feel it. We're supposed to be giving current advice, remember? Yeah. Doesn't even surprise me that you Rachel said all of that. Attack, though, right? Any of that. Sh should I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Scope out the competition. See what this guy's like. The competition. You know, you two are both so guy crazy. Yeah, look at me. I don't have a day for Valentine's Day, and I could give a rip. The three of us are divas. Look at our idols. Whitney, Barbara. Hell Stone, yeah. Hell yeah, Mercedes. Are you gonna take me home tonight? Sorry, freaking amazing just by the start of this. Fat bottom girls. Good from bad, but I knew love before I left my nursery. Fat fat she was such an on in Yeah, this song fuck. It's wild. Won't you take me home tonight? Oh yeah. Rockin' world go round. I mean put sounded good. I think she's too impressed. Definitely not impressed there. First time anyone ever sang me a love song. And it made me feel like crap. Mm. I like tongue. Uh, she says she wants tongue. Your pressure will get to me. Well, it is sort of uncool that you, you're too uptight to spend a buck for a good cause like Glee Club. I'm not kissing you again. Again. Keyword again. Leading you on, hurting my boyfriend. Your boyfriend's a boy. In that case, should have kissed him the first you time. Want to kiss me right now? I can't do this. Well, you're doing it because Sam is singing it. I'm looking for a classic love song to sing to you for our assignment because, despite your confusion about the matter, you are the only guy I'm ever within. Don't kissing do that, that Quinn. Quinn. So confusion. Me, Why haven't you kissed Finn at his booth yet? Not about you. You play it cool. But you're ambitious. You like being the queen bee, and you think being with star quarterback Finn pretty, but I ain't dumb. Fine. Right after Glee rehearsal, I'm kissing Finn. Actually, I don't see how that helps out in the situation in any type of way. You should probably kiss. There's a, a lineup. <laughs> what, what the hell? On the cheek? Wait, I thought you said you were over me. This is a kiss. I Stop. Okay, fine. I still love you, okay? Is that what you want to hear? It's Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. I ordered it for you for Christmas before we broke up. You don't need me or any other guy to anchor you to Lima. You're a real star. <laughs> you need to shine. That's so sweet. Because I can't be Oh, with my you. God. No jealousy? No drama? Nope. I don't know how we did it. I do. We're dope. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You know you. Nothing else. You make me feel so good inside. A PYT. Pretty young. Oh, well, serenade us already. Ooh. Come on. Look at those moves. I just wish I could see this man dancing in a hallway. Running up the lockers. Both doing such a good job. Mike with these moves, already doing a wonderful job on the song. Vocals. I'm so in love, I may just start crying. I may just start crying for you. I heard that. Don't make me rip that weave out your head. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Voice. Oh. Uh, but see, I, I sort of do. 
I'm from a part of town called Lima Heights adjacent. I'm more afraid of Santana. You know where that is, poppin' fresh? We're about to have an all-out brawl, and I am worried for everyone's safety. It's fighting. Everything's fair game here. I need to do a lot more biting, Santana. Oh. My no, God! To be fair, Santana held her own. Just, she held her own. Can you make a formal it's presentation? A tough, tough challenger here. Not consider it. Wow. I think you're gonna do a lot of damage to yourself by seeing this, Sam. Mm. Well, you just lost your own completely right in front of you because you just had to be there to see. Can we please, like, tell Sam, like, That's it's him. over, we're done? Jeremiah, if he and I got married, the gap would give me a 50% discount. <laughs> In that case, you this gotta get married. I'm doing. We haven't even really gone out on a date. Any employee there. How can anyone not love him, though, after he sings to him? Up that feeling for long, no. You're making dogs wanna beg Cause you walk pretty Because you talk pretty Cause you make me sick And I'm not He does not look impressed enough When I get you I know When I get you I know When I get you I know He just doesn't seem into it I mean Baby girl You just shook that room like a star now Yes you did Yes you did So I pray there's something She ain't bluffing Rubbing up the Everyone in this store should be in love with this man right now. Fan, freaking, too much? fantastic. No, yeah, it was too no. much. No, it wasn't too much. It's not. It wasn't enough. Jeremiah, I need hey. that again and again. What the hell were you doing? What? And again. You just got fired. You can't just. It was too much. Stick roof in the middle of somebody else's much. workplace. Yeah. <laughs> it's clear here. You and I got coffee twice. We're not dating. If we were, mm. I'd get arrested because you're underage. Oh. I'm the hottest piece of action at this school, and here I am on Valentine's, single. Ugh, whatever. Something, I'll just something wrong with the school. They're so, super reliable. Only explanation. Her queen bitch smirk, and Finn only wears that gassy infant look when he feels guilty about something. <laughs> Holy sweet hell. They're fooling around. Revenge. I've always oh. loved volunteering at the local hospital, and not just because of the sexy candy striper outfit. Giving back is so important. I mean, that's fit. <sighs> the hell did I just watch? <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. If I have anything, I hope it's not contagious. What? What? Some twisted shit. Santana said, fuck it. We're doing some twisted Haven't stuff. Haven't you been in here before? No? Revenge. I Sorry, I was at church. Praying for the strength to come? Or pray do. you don't catch this. Why is this making me a cheater? Thing that hurt you so badly. So break up with the guy. Break up with me. Jesus. The thing about cheating. When you really love someone, you do anything to keep them safe. I love Sam. No, you don't. Or else you wouldn't have come here. You love Sam, Sorry. you you wouldn't be here. I think I love him. No matter what happens between us, I'm not gonna break up with Sam until I know for sure one way or another. Okay. Think so you cruel. Oh, this is bad. Ugh. Don't they have anything here that isn't covered with Still the same parts? way, Blaine. The fool of myself. Which is really saying something because I've performed at theme parks. He didn't make a fool of himself. I don't care what anyone says. I just I can't believe I made it all up in my head. Okay, can I ask you something? Because we've always been completely honest with each other. You and I, we hang out, we sing flirty to each other. Well, that together. wasn't meant to work you know, for a reason because order. this right I here think that that was is too damn beautiful. What do you mean? And this is gonna be some love. I thought the guy that you wanted to ask him love. on Valentine's Day was me. Ten like I do. And I know how to act it out in song, but the truth is. I've never really been anyone's boyfriend. 
Me neither. Mm. Let Max, me be really Max clear about something. Him. I'm not very good at romance. I don't want to screw this up. It's just like when Harry met Sally. But I get to play Meg Ryan. Deal. <laughs> Don't they uh, get together in the end? Could That's I get the freaking plan. That is the plan. You know my coffee order. You know what? I love them I I so freaking much, dude. Takes the sting off. It's cool. My dad's a drug addict, so losers make me horny. I'm not a loser. This is the first time I've ever been stuck. A lot of information. It must be some chick to blow you. I didn't need to know. This for you, Mike. Happy Valentine's Day. Funny Valentine. Oh, no. You look so lovable. Dina. Dina. Yeah, you're my favorite work of art. Oh, <laughs> Tina's Are still killing it. Okay, wow, that was powerful. <laughs> Almost too powerful. That was a real performance. You can I be excused? Uh, it really helps spread it. A little tongue. Which is weird because it sounds like Quinn here has it too. I was there when they kissed. Just a peck. So how about we stop talking about tonguing and Finn and I go to the nurse? You know what? I think that is a capital idea. I cheated twice. There it is. There's her revenge. First time I got pregnant. And she freaking got it! Nothing can happen between us. Until I figure out what's going on with me and Sam, and you figure out what's going on with you and Rachel. What? Nothing's. Nothing's going on with me and Rachel. You're getting stood up. Last night, breadsticks. Oh, we had a date, didn't we? Look, <laughs> I get it. Oh no. I'm not in you because you have curves. I. What I like is that you're a girl who's an even bigger badass than me. Really into me. You gotta take a slow. I suppose I could give that a shot. Then you're on for Valentine's Day. Did you kiss her? Like Santana said? Yeah, yeah, but I, I just needed to get it out of my system. So what did it feel like when you kissed her? An explosion. Fireworks. Fireworks. Did you see fireworks when you kissed me. Grand finale. Thank you. But you've given me the strength to move on. I know now that there's nothing here for me anymore. That's not the truth inspired my song selection for this week's love song assignment. Feel better, Finn. That one hurt a little bit. I seen hurt. Do you ever feel from caving in? Do you ever feel another freaking Katy Perry throwback? Still a chance for you, cause there's a spark in you. Oh, I love this smile. Don't start crying, Tina. You might get up here and start crying again. Perfection. Perfection. Mind if we join you? You are single with hope or madly in love and are here because I forced you to come out and support me. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy. And to all the singles. How can we not enjoy it? You think that people would have had enough of silly love songs? Who would have filled the world with silly love songs? I'd like to know. Cause here I go. Vocals on freaking point! Sounds so good! Sometimes it doesn't come at all. Way too good. Wait a minute! Sam the Santana! I think that was the best song out of the episode. Best performance. Vocally, Blaine. Masterpiece. Master at singing, you freaking beast. There we have it, guys. Season 2, episode 12 of Glee. Uh, pretty good episode here. Valentine's Day episode. Love. 
love in the air, even love that, I mean, shouldn't have been going on. Uh, Quinn and Finn kissing again, and again, fireworks going off in Finn's head and their head. Uh, so, I mean, it was a pretty good kiss. Sam was there to watch it. Uh, so Quinn, uh, kind of cheating on Sam, uh, but not wanting to end things with them until she was for sure about the whole Finn thing. So Quinn doing her own little thing there with both of them. Uh, which was pretty bad. Santana getting her revenge, which was huge. The, I mean, Santana, the whole mono thing, such a Santana thing to do. Santana's crazy. Uh, so, I mean, Santana in this episode I had the fight as well with the, the one girl. I mean, so Santana, it was a big episode for her. Uh, it was a big fight. It was a big revenge. Uh, so I just loved everything we got from Santana in this one. Uh, I really enjoyed her scenes. Uh, even at the end when she was sitting there and then she stared at Sam. Um, I don't know. She was all in her own little seat by herself. Looking extra adorable in that seat for some reason. Uh, but the way Santana looked at Sam. Enjoyed her in that scene. Enjoyed everything we got from Santana in this one. Uh, so I think I think I will give her MVP. I mean, we I could have went... To, to Blaine, who also just killed it in this one with his performances. He had the one in the, the Gap store where the dude was not interested. Blaine made a bunch of stuff up in his head about how the dude liked him, what, whatever. Got the dude fired with that performance. Should have got him a raise. Like, you know this man that performed that well? You're freaking manager now. You own the store. That's what should have happened. But he got fired. Um, and loved how, you know, Kurt was there to help Blaine, too, and how Kurt mentioned that, you know, he thought Blaine was doing all this for him. Uh, so love what we, love everything we get from Kurt and Blaine, and that's, that's love right there. I don't, I don't care. That's gonna, it's gonna go into something freaking beautiful if they, their scenes continue the way they've been going. So Blaine killed it. That performance at the end as well. Uh, we absolutely loved it. Uh, the one before that too with Rachel performing um, Firework. Got the inspiration from Ben. Uh, I think Rachel did a wonderful job on that song. Another Katy Perry classic that I haven't heard in a while. So it was good to hear. Rachel's, vo Rachel's voice sounded really good on it. Um, and we had the fireworks like going off in the back. It looked pretty cool. Um, so we got to give it up to her. Loved the one too with Artie and Mike. Another good one. Loved Mike's dance moves, and Artie's vocal sounded so good on that song. And I thought they fed off of each other, like, really well. So that was one of my top ones. That was one of my top ones, for sure. Uh, but all around, pretty pretty solid, I guess. Some really good performances. Uh, the Quinn Finn stuff, a little, little bit iffy on it. Um, but yeah, pretty good episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.